welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny. And today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we are trying Old El Paso stuffed nachos, guys. Old El Paso stuffed nachos. I found these at Kroger. And I heard they're at Myers, possibly Walmart. So please look in your store and see if you got them. If you want to try them, okay? Old El Paso stuffed nachos. We got two different flavors here. We got a three cheese. I'll show you the bags really quick. And we got a beef and cheese. The beef and cheese is in front of dad here. The three cheese is in front of me. This is what the packs look like in the frozen section at the store, guys. There are 20, or sorry, there are 40, there's 40 nachos in each bag. Each bag here in Ohio, $9.99. $9.99. And 99 cents. I hope these taste good. I got these because I love nachos, guys. Okay, I love the traditional nachos with the chips and the cheese and the meat and the jalapenos and all those things. Okay, but I saw these and I thought, hmm, these might be a good option for at home. We'll find out, right? So you bake them in the oven on 425 degrees for nine to 11 minutes for like a half bag. If you're doing a full bag, they say 11 to 13 minutes. Let them stand for a couple minutes to let them cool. Uh, they look like a pizza pizza roll to me. I mean, that they're just shaped in triangles. So, uh, let's see. I, yeah, they have air fryer instructions here too, guys. Like four minutes at 350. Then mix them and do another three minutes or something. So if you have an air fryer, we need to get another air fryer. I got rid of my old one. Uh, we got rid of dad's old one um, when we moved. So we need to get another air fryer. It's just our kitchen isn't very big. And I don't want to have to keep putting it underneath the counter, bringing it out, putting it underneath. I would like to have a spot to put it at, but I don't know. But anyway, what do you think about these, Dad? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just have to give it a go and see what it tastes like. Right. I got some sour cream in the in this little uh, cup here. I'm gonna get you a napkin because I'm sure. I think we've let them cool down a bit, but I just want you to be careful when you bite yeah, okay. into this, okay? I they're still quite warm. I just don't want Dad to get burnt, guys. Um, have you tried these, guys? Leave a comment below. Let us know if you tried these. Let us know after our review if you would like to try them. Like I said, each bag of 40 nachos is $9.99. Excuse me. I found mine at Kroger. I saw that uh, Meyer had them. I think I saw Walmart had them. Please check and find out if they do. I'm not sure. Okay, Dan, let's try one of these cheese ones. Want to? I'm just going to okay. hand one to you. It's just a little pocket. Okay. Okay, so be careful. These are the three cheese. Okay. Let me read this real quick. Stuffed nachos, three cheese. Reduced fat mozzarella, cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese, peppers and a zesty, crispy crust. Now I did taste a little warmth, like a little spice, right? This is my first little bite. Okay, they taste real nacho-y inside, okay? Like, the cheese is real creamy on the inside. Yeah, really okay. Good. Okay. And they got that, excuse me, it's got like that nacho-y, uh, I think it's from the spice. The spice in there, the little warmth in there, it's mild. Just the, I feel a little warmth. Not even on my tongue. I feel it mostly in the back of my throat. Just a little warmth. Um, I think the spice is really causing it to be nacho-y. Dad, let's try one. Now, Dad's not a big sour cream fan, but I found out that he has ate stuff with sour cream and he kind of likes it. So let's let's do a little dip. I'm going to do a little okay. dip here in some sour cream. I didn't overload it too much. Let's see what it's like with some sour cream on it. I feel like sour cream was good with any kind of nachos or... The outside is like bubbly crispy. I really like that. Mm. 
I really like them with the sour cream. The sour cream gives it that little bit of tang, you know, from the sour cream. The sour cream's got that little tangness, tanginess to it. Um, but I really like the the crust on the outside of these, like that crunchy crust. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. What do you think about these, Day? Let's let's take a drink first, and we'll. They're different. They're different. <laughs> I, I never. Let's take a little sip, and we'll we'll figure it out. We're gonna give them a score. Let you know. Like I said, this is more my thing than Dad's, but he's been trying a lot of things lately, so you never know, know. You know. You don't know unless you try. So you think they're different. What do you think about the cheese taste in them? You think the cheese tastes good in them? They taste okay. Okay. They taste uh, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a snack. They're a snack. Oh. Yeah, kind of like an appetizer type right. thing. Yes, yes. That's, that's what I'm getting from them, too. Um, I can make a meal out of them, guys. I can make like a... I think we got like 14 of each one of them out here. Um, I could make a meal out of them. I could eat a few of them, maybe a little side salad or something, and that would be like the perfect lunch for me. Maybe like five or six of them for me in a, in a side salad. I would be perfectly happy. You know, um, a little bit of zest, a little bit of zesty to that. Yeah, it does. Uh, to the end of that. Yeah, it has a little spice in it. In it's, your mouth. It's very mild. The, both packages say... Um, mild spice and it has like three peppers on it and only has like one pepper lit up so yeah there is a little spice to it like i said it's really not even on my tongue i just felt like a little warmth in no, the back of my throat and it's gone you know what i mean like it didn't stay um well, how'd you feel about the crust on you like that little crunchy crust that on the outside is of really yeah. really good mm -hmm. uh, that's Okay. And the cheese sauce was uh, good. Yeah. How about the dipped in the sour cream? You're uh, not a big sour cream fan. What'd you feel about? How'd you feel about that? <laughs> that that tastes pretty good. Okay. That, okay. that tastes pretty good. So you could eat them without or uh, with or without. Oh, okay. What score are you gonna give these little three cheese loaded nachos from El Del Paso, old, old El Paso? And they eat. An eight out of ten. Eight. Okay. Um, I think I'm with Dad. I think they're a solid eight out of ten. The price is a little high. You get forty pizza, uh, forty roll. To, you get forty loaded nachos in a bag for nine ninety nine. That's here in Ohio. Could be higher where you're at. I think the price is a little high. I mean, I wouldn't be buying them all the time. But if I bought these again, would you eat them with me? Yes, okay. uh, yes, I would. Okay. Uh, snack, uh, as a snack. Yeah, as a little snack, yeah. Like if I made some and you were in between dinner or whatever, you would eat some? Yes, I would. Okay, so the other ones are beef and cheese. Seasoned beef, reduced fat mozzarella cheese, peppers, and a zesty, crispy crust, guys. I didn't tell you the calories. So seven nachos of the beef and cheese is like 210 calories. Uh, on the cheese ones, seven nachos, 210. So they're 210 calories for seven nachos. Is that a lot? Well, it kind of is. So let's, let's see what seven is. Two, four, six, seven. So that's only like seven little triangles. No, okay. that's, so 210, that's a little high. Like I said, I can probably eat like five in a little side salad and I'd be happy it's a little high, but I've seen some snacks that's even higher than that. So, I mean... I can sit and eat those forever. Okay. Forever. Let, let's try one of these uh, beef and cheese ones. Let's try it just plain, then we might do a sour cream dump. It's got a little sweet taste. Do you taste a little sweet? These got a little spice to them, just like the first ones. I gotta try something out, guys. I'm, I'm a little confused at this moment. Hold on. Okay. There's not very much meat in these, okay? They say beef and cheese or meat or whatever. Seasoned beef. What is it? Beef and cheese. A little bit more spice in those. Yeah, it's a little step up a little bit. In the in the in the 
Really? Mm-hmm. Let's try one with some sour cream. Just a little dip. Yeah, they have a just a little more spice. So my tongue is a little more warm, okay, on, on these ones. I wish they had a little more beef in them. You can taste you can taste a little beefiness, um, but there's not enough beef in them. Like when you bite into them, you, yeah. y if you didn't know the beef was in there, you would just think there were some other cheeses and some other seasonings in there. You, you can't feel the beef, okay? And I don't know if I'd like that or not, okay? Um, this is the reason why I'm saying that. Like in some frozen things you put beef in, the beef texture is so mushy and gushy and it, it, it throws me off because I don't like that texture of beef because you think of ground beef is ground beef, right? It's got texture. But there's so little of it in here. You can have another one if you want. Do you want another one? There's so little of it in here that... Like you only see like little tiny specks. No, I'm trying to think, do I like that one more than this one? They're kind of even Steven for me. The beef and cheese one is a little spicier. The beef and cheese one is... Like, I think if you keep eating them, it'll get warmer and warmer. I always, I, do do. I always like to explain like mild, medium, and hot spice levels, right? It's still in the mild range, but I feel like we d I just ate a couple, three of those. I feel like it's warming up a little bit in my mouth. It's like trying to go to medium, but isn't. But it's it's there. It's on the hotter side side of mild, okay? It's still in the mild range, but it's on the hotter side. Do you like the beef and cheese ones more than the cheese I don't, ones? I, or? Don't, I don't care that much about them. Okay. The, the you, beef and so you like the first ones a little I like better. The cheese mm -hmm. because the cheese the sauce is good with the crust. Well, there's still cheese in yeah. here, but um, I think I'm even Steven, guys. Um, what score? Yeah, you, I don't think there's a much difference. Not a whole lot of difference. There really isn't. Um, what score would you give the beef and cheese ones, the ones that we just tried? I'd, I'd give it a seven and a half. A seven point five? That's fair. That's fair because you kind of just like the cheese ones a little bit more, huh? Right. Um, I think they're pretty even, Stephen. It really wouldn't matter to me either or. Um, I feel like the cheese ones. I'm getting more of a fuller. Um, it has more cheese and stuff in it. I feel like I'm getting more of a fuller bite on the cheese ones than the beef ones because it's the beef ones are kind of hollower and they don't put as much uh, beef in there, okay? But I could eat either one. I think they're the same to me, like 8 out of 10. They're a solid little appetizer. I think if you're having like a Super Bowl party or a get-together, excuse me, or a little holiday thing, and you wanted some appetizers. I think they're a good little appetizer. Like yeah. Dad said, the nachos really isn't his thing. But you would eat these with me. You're right. Okay. You're right. So I think they would be a crowd pleaser. I think that they just, they're just, they're just little nachos. You want another one, Dave? No. You want, you want uh, a cheese one? No. You give me another cheese. You know, yeah, that's cream, uh, you want a little, little sour cream? Oh, wow. He's asking for sour cream, guys. Asking mm. for sour cream. That's crazy, because he would never eat sour cream. When I was growing up as a kid, my mom would always put like sour cream and mashed potatoes and stuff like that, and she wouldn't tell him, because he wouldn't eat them if he thought there was sour cream in them, but she would sneak them in there, and he'd still eat them and love them. But he was always a, totally against sour cream, but I don't know why. He loves buttermilk, and sour cream and buttermilk have very similar tastes, except for sour cream is thicker, and buttermilk is thinner, runnier. 
so that's good. At least we found a little appetizer. Sometimes um, I like to have like a little appetizer in the evenings. Like we've already had, like we do our reviews, right? And say like if we had a big dinner for a review or we just had some real heavy, heavy thing for a review. And sometimes at night, um, I just want a little bit of something, you know what I mean? And a couple, few, this like five or six of these would be perfect for me. So... The cheese sauce in that in that the first one. I gotta try one. Is again, a lot one. better than the, lot better in the in the in the uh, beef. Yeah, it's fuller. There's more, there's more cheese in it. It's more cheese. Mm -hmm. More cheese. It's in creamy. That. Yeah. And uh, maybe they got more beef in the other, but I don't no, know. No, they. The beef is very little in those other ones. So. These cheese ones, I think are, I mean, my personal preference right now, if I'm thinking about it, I would get the three cheese ones over the beef ones, but if they didn't have the three cheese ones, I would definitely get the beef and cheese ones. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they're that similar to me, but if I, if, if you made me pin it down, made me pin it down, I really Give think another, one another beef, beef ones. Without the... No sour cream. If you maybe pin it down, I would say the the three cheese ones is the way I would rather go. But like I said, either one of them's good. Either one. Oh, it squished out, eh? Oh, wow. You got a napkin here. We got more napkins too. It squished out of the side of the. It did. <laughs> I'll eat one more, man. <laughs> They're kind of addictive. You kind of want to keep eating more of them, don't you? They kind of like make you mm. want to keep eating more of them. Okay. The beef is more zestier. Yeah, the beef the beef is a little spicier. They're pretty decent. I'm glad I tried them. Now I really am. Now the price is is is. Uh, you yeah, I, yeah. You get four. Them out. Yeah, well, you get forty, forty of these yeah. in there, and we only have like fourteen of them out here. So I mean, you times this by three, you would get three, three of these, three sets of these, and three sets of these in each bag. So I mean, you're getting multiple, multiple meals or appetizer moments out of it. I guess is. The price is crazy. The price is crazy on everything. I mean, oh. I feel like we're repeating parrots. You know what I mean? The price is crazy on everything. Things that you would get for 5 or $6, you're paying almost $10 for now. So, anyway, Dad, you're right. Let these guys yes. go. Yes. Okay, guys. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.